My name's Shane, and today I'm going to talk about creating an API in Remix. Remix provides a great set of powerful tools and features to build all sorts of web applications. And one of those is APIs. So let's jump in. A pivotal role in creating an API is something called a resource route. What a resource route is, is any route that doesn't have a default export. And what we do is leverage the loader and action functions in the routes to create endpoints that can handle GET and POST requests to that route. Here's just a default structure of what those actions look like. I'm sorry, what those functions look like. And then being that it's an API, what do we really want to do? We want to be able to get some data. We want to be able to send a request to update some data. We want to be able to limit or authenticate who can and cannot update and get data. And then down the road, we might want to implement some rate limiting or analytics on our API. So let's jump into what the loader function is. And the loader function is going to handle any git request that you make to a route in your remix function, or in your remix route. Um, here's just a really dummy, really simple one. It's returning an object. The object just has a data attribute, and it's loader data. And you can see in the postman post request here, or git request, I'm sorry, it has a status 200. And you can see the data in JSON form. So let's talk about the action. And this is where we're actually going to send a body. So in this request here, we're destructuring the body from the request. And we're converting that to JSON. We're also grabbing the headers. And most importantly, we're grabbing the authorization header. So we're going to get that authorization header. And then you can see here that if there is no authorization header, we instantly return JSON status 401. And then again, if we, if we do have an authorization, we split it. We get the exact code. And then if we don't have a code, we again provide reasonable error handling and a 401 code. And then we run it through the authenticate token. So this is just a stub method in this. But this would return a true false is authenticated. And then if, if there is not an authentication, again, we return not authorized status 401. And then finally, we look in the body. And inside of the body, if we don't find the ID attribute, we return a 204, which means there's no content, right? Because the user did send a post request. They did valid authentication. There was just no body for us to, to actually go get a user. And then finally, we'll get the user and then return that user. So let's look at, let's break this down a little bit. These are Postman screenshots. So in the upper left one, you can see that I'm sending just a body. It has an ID for the user, one, two, three, four, five. And the one to the right, you can see that we're sending an authorization token, a very, very good auth token, ASDF. And then in the bottom screenshot, we can see this is the response we got back from sending a post request. So let's, let's actually look at this in code. So this is the exact code that we just saw, right? So let's pull up uh, Postman, and let's send some requests. First, we'll send a valid request. Hmm, typical. Let's run our project. Then we'll send a valid request. So you can see we get back what we saw on the screenshot. But let's, let's go ahead and remove our authorization token. Let's send this request. Now you see that we got the exact error we expected if there was no authorization header. Let's add our authorization token back and go into our body and remove, we'll just send an empty string or an empty object. So here you can see that we got the 204 no content, and we got just an empty response back. So that's a really fast look at how you set up an API in Remix. And thank you. That was, that was a lot of fun. <laughs>